Bum, 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 bum. Hey everybody, are you ready? Last Outrider here with a long-awaited Sisters of Battle Fluff video. We know we love them. And this time, it's going to be great because this is my two favorite factions. Sisters versus Tyranids. Here we go. The Shield Maidens of Lysios. The Adepta Sororitas were initially stationed upon Lysios to hunt down and exterminate the pagan giant worshippers of the Crawler Hulks. When the Tyranids invaded, however, they quickly turned from persecutors to saviors. Under the leadership of Canonus Magda Grace, they gave their lives freely for the citizens of the algae-slicked planet had a chance to escape. Magda Grace of the Sacred Rose is a firm advocate of the sacred trinity of Bolter, Flamer, and Melta weaponry. During the war for Lysios, she wielded either a bolter or a bolt pistol at all times, refusing the lure of more elaborate weapons point blank. She maintains that mass reactive shells spread the authority of the emperor in a far more concise and compelling fashion than even the sermons of St. Lucius. High praise indeed, for the saint is her role model and the author of the hymnal she keeps at her side for guidance. The canoness, Grace, re, uh, restated her standing orders. They were not to let a single attack organism approach within a hundred paces of the outer ring. Sharp-eyed sisters leveled kill shots at Gaunts and Tyranid warriors alike until the corral was ringed by a half-mile-wide belt of smoking Xenos corpses. Squads of seraphim soared out from the ruins whenever a flock of winged tyranids came close. Squeezing off round after round from their bolt pistols to send shattered bodies flailing out of the skies. Here and there, a leader beast stormed forward, and though the bolter shells sent winging towards it, cratered its armored hulk, they would not slow it. Wherever one of the things got too close, a team of melta-toting dominions would debark from their rhinos and vaporize the monstrosities mid-stride. Even the tyrannocytes that were dropping from the skies into the cordon's interior were neutralized before they could land, reduced to diaphanous strings of gruel by the missiles arcing from Canonist Grace's exorcist tanks. The cityscape strobed with the light of overwhelming firepower as the Sororitas established a zone of death through which no living thing could pass. Hammering fire upwards with their anti-air batteries of their crawler hulks, the nomad gunners swiftly began to reassess their position as foes of the Imperium. The rain of spores showed no sign of stopping, but with allies as fearless 
as the Adepta Sororitas, fighting at their sides. Victory could surely be won. Whether it was in the name of Kryptos or the Emperor seemed a distant concern indeed. The twin suns ground across the spore-churned skies, peering at the carnage unfolding below. To the Adepta Sororitas, each passing minute seemed like an hour. The number of broken, tyrannid bodies ringing the corral had reached insane proportions. By Magda Grace's calculations, they had already numbered in the tens of thousands. Spent shell cases covered the ground. A clinking carpet of brass and silver that hid the writhing slime underfoot from sight. Armored vehicles, crawler hulks, and lysite ruins alike were splattered with the stringy excreta of dead tyrannocytes. Wheezing hulks of xenos matter were dotted here and there slowly bubbling into dissolution. Heedless of their success, the Adepta Sororitas held position, their voices raised in blissful prayer to their god-emperor. Still, the rain of spores from high above hammered down, Wave after wave of weapon beasts pouring through the ruins. Against such an implacable defense as that made by the sisters of battle, heretics, traitors, even orcs, would have broken and fled long ago. But the Tyranid attack came on. <laughs> and next time is part two. Until then, bye.